Hey, what's up you guys? I just wanted to make this quick video to show you all how to make in-text references the, one of the easiest ways using a Microsoft uh, Word um, function. Okay, so I'm just going to bring up an old well, an assignment that I've just been recently working on. Um, let's put that to that side. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to <clears throat> put an in-text reference. So what you want to do is go to Google Scholar or any other search engine and type in whatever you want. So, for example, viruses and water contamination, just for a, bit, a uh, microbiology course. And we're going to go, say, we just select the first one. And one, once that loads, what you want to do is instead of having to write this out manually what you do is you go references in Word so if you're at home up top here you want to go to references insert citation add new source right here and then if it's a journal article you select journal article if it's a book you select a book whatever the list the, the options are in this list so journal article authors what you want to do is you want to add these authors right um, right here well in this case there's one but if there was more um, you just add them all so you click on edit you want to put in their last name for example Yates first name is Marilyn and initial middle name uh, V then you want to go add say for example if there's another um, author as well, say white, uh, first name Walter, and middle name M. Okay, let's go add, say if there was another name, and their name was Brown, first name Gavin, and middle name J. Add, <clears throat> and that's, that's, that's your author's added. Then you want to go OK. See how it's all listed in the order that you put it in, and it's listed correctly as well. Then you want to add the title. Usually what I do is I can just go straight in here and copy that. Copy that straight into here, and then the journal name, National Groundwater Association, for example. National Groundwater Association, and then the year is 1985, 1985 pages, 586 to 591. Okay, then you want to go okay. But before you do that, when you click Show All Bibliography Fields, it brings up. You know, the, the, the red asterisks indicate the essential fields that you must include for this reference, but you can also add the publisher, the volume, or the issue, as some professors or teachers uh, might be a bit pedantic and, and want you to have that. But uh, again, this is usually enough. You want to click OK. And right here, Right here is our reference. Okay, you can go in and edit that if you like, but we've added the authors, the light, the last names of each author, Yates, White, and Brown, 1985, because it is the initial one. If I also insert that reference again, um, it'll be a different story. Say if you, if I wanted to add it here, what you want to do is um, instead of having to retype that same citation you just go to whoops not this one insert citation and then you'll have a list of your um of your uh, uh citations then you just want to click on this list usually there'll be more than this and you just click it and it goes and it pops in right there that's how you do it and then at the end what you want to do for example if i wanted my bibliography here you just go bibliography and then either references, I like references or works cited, whatever. You want to click that in and 
right there. It prints it out in the most perfect order, the most correct way um, that, uh, that, you, that you want, that, that's required of you. And I think that's quite easy and simple, not too hard. But if there are a million authors, um, it can be quite annoying. Um, so I've got another method, and that's using EndNote. I mean, at, in the beginning, EndNote might seem quite quite hard and quite difficult and, and you know you just don't want to go to all that trouble just to reference and usually you want to stick to this or another method that you've adapted over the years but I guarantee that once you've used EndNote once you don't want to go back to any other referencing method especially if you've got a million references to do for those long huge research reports or massive essays that's required you know of you to do like 30 or more plus references um, so uh, the link for that one will be in the description, so check it out if you're keen and you want an even easier method of uh, referencing. Thanks for watching. Um, if this video helped you out, don't forget to hit the like button, leave a comment um, of any improvements or if there's a better way of referencing. Okay, thank you very much.